today I'm going to talk about, um, I completely forgot what I was going to talk about. Uh, what was it? Oh yeah, that's right. Ten things that annoy me. Number one, forgetfulness. Uh, wait. Number one is, like I said, forgetfulness. Don't you just love it when you're having a decent conversation with one of your friends, and then you completely forget the name of a movie star or just a simple word, and then you end up looking like a fool. Hey, so I heard from a person from a person from another person that Karen likes you. Karen likes me. Yeah, that's what I heard. Well, I don't know what that word that means. Like, uh, I got my handy thesaurus here. Uh, Hello? Yeah? Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is... This, this is, this is great! Number two, allergies. So, I've got allergies, and it's not fun. Happy Valentine's Day! Happy Allergens Awareness Week. Not to mention, on really bad days, it completely ruins my voice. I don't know. No, no. I wasn't thinking about it. I was too busy blowing my nose. Number three, duck face. I'll keep this one short and simple. Just stop it. Sorry, girls, but it makes you look like, well, a duck. So next time you get the urge to take an attractive pic of yourself, just do this. The number one face that a guy will like is insanely simple. Just smile. Guys love to see girls happy. So please, just Stop, duck face. Number four, vending machines. I don't know if I'm the only one out there like this, but it seems like that big thing is always out to get me. Using a vending machine is almost like gambling. Will it give me my drink? Will it not? Will it give me the A3 instead of the B2 I'm craving? Just think about it, it would make a heck of a game show. Number five, talking with your mouth full. This one is really a no-brainer. At least I would hope so. My idea of school lunch is eating and conversing with your friends, but not doing them at the same time. But I'm a multitasker. Then please, practice your multitasking some other time. What is that woman's got for that? Huh? Not to mention, you can't usually understand a word the person is saying if they're talking with their mouth full. So, if you only turn it inside the movie theater, can you imagine that? Huh. Interesting. I never knew walruses could get Ebola. And anyone who talks with their mouth full is usually also going to be this next thing at the same time. Number six. Talking about nothing. You know when you're sitting at lunch and you're listening to a friend talk? And meanwhile, you're nodding your head as if you're really paying attention to what they're saying. But your brain is really more like... Why won't he stop? Cut it out. Why won't he stop talking so I can start talking about the much more interesting things going on in my life? Oh yeah, and also, even though that's annoying, you've probably done it yourself. And number seven, text talking. So we've all got that one friend, usually a girl, that talk like she's writing a text message. You know, abbreviating words when she's actually talking IRL. I mean, in real life. <laughs> oh, rats. OMG, me and my BFF, we were talking, and she's like, well, we're not friends anymore. How do you think? Well, S-U-S-T-I-A-T-O-S-H-M-I-W-K-Y. What? Shut up and stop talking and text her, so help me, I'll kill you. Alright, so I don't get that uptight about it. But seriously, abbreviating things you're saying is just making you look lazy. Number 8. Alarm clocks. I honestly think pretty much anyone around my age is going to agree on this one. We don't want it to ring. In fact, we completely dread the moment when it's going to ring. And not to mention, it completely ruins your fabulous dreams. Congratulations, you won a free iPhone, tickets to a music park, and a million dollars. This is great. And then your alarm clock interrupts, as if to say, just kidding. And at most schools, school starts so early that you're going to have to set your alarm clock for when it's still dark outside. Which usually means you're going to click the snooze button a couple of times. If you can find your alarm clock in the dark. Oh, 
And number nine, homework ways. Does it ever seem to you like you get no homework on a Monday, no homework on a Tuesday, then suddenly every single one of your classes gives you homework on the third day, and then on the next day you get nothing, and on the next day you get a ton. It's one of the most annoying patterns. Why can't you just get a little bit every day? I hate Spanish. And the last one, number 10, has got to be the most annoying in my opinion. Number 10 is, drum roll please, number 10, being all out of Oreo. So, there you have it. 10 things that really annoy me. Stop doing them. How you doing? <laughs> Pretty good actually. Thanks for watching my video. Please subscribe if you'd like more videos about me talking about how dumb my life is. I'll have a new video every Thursday. See ya!